Hello, I'm Tom Mintier. The Space Shuttle Discovery is poised for launch at the Kennedy Space Center on Pad 39B. Weather in the area was a problem a few moments ago, but the clouds have moved away, and now Discovery is fueled and ready for launch. The countdown the clock has been proceeding well. Coming up on two minutes right now, CNN's John Zarella joins us now at the Kennedy Space Center. John, with uh, two minutes left in the count, uh, everybody has to be uh, crossing their fingers at least down there. That's for sure, Tom. It has been, as we've been saying all morning, a long time since NASA has gotten this far down into a countdown. It is at least, uh, what, five months now since uh, they've been able to bring a countdown down and hopefully get the shuttle off the ground. Under two minutes to go. Critical time right now. Some last-minute checks underway of the uh, the shuttle systems. And John, uh, John, we've, we've got, uh, there's going to be a hold at 31 seconds. They've just announced a failure uh, of some system on board the shuttle. They just told them to lock their visors. Let's listen in. Again, the countdown clock will hold at uh, T minus 31 seconds. Two measurements just came back within uh, LCC range. And MTD SPE, they're back within limits, and uh, we recommend clearance. Uh, copy, launch director. And, and the reason for the excursion was what? CPVD. CPVD. Yeah, can you give a reason for why you uh, excursed out of the range? I really don't know. They went down again. Our flow valve is cycling open and closed. How far out of range is it going? Do you have any idea? Uh, the low limit is 20 and it's uh, going down to 18 inches of water. T minus 45 seconds. Countdown clock will be holding in just a few moments. It appears there uh, is a problem with the orbiter to payload interface duct. We're discussing that right now. So the uh, clock will stop at 31 seconds. Uh, problem with the flow control valve, a failure. Uh, going out of limits uh, by a couple of uh, numbers. Uh, if we continue on, either successfully or have to scrub. No, I think we can, uh, it's cycling in and out. If it, if it stays up, we can try to um, control the valve manually and bring it up uh, to the highest range. Okay, copy. Uh, SPE, do you have any problem with proceeding? Well, I'll need to mask them out back here because it is cycling. And uh, as soon as we get that done, uh, I think we can handle it manually. Okay. Launch director, hand director. Go ahead. 31 seconds from now, we will have a zero purge. You understand? I understand. Okay, well, SPE, GLS, you go ahead with your software configuration and let us know. That is complete. We're standing by. Thirty-one seconds. We have a go for auto sequence start. Twenty-five seconds. Discoveries four. Redundant computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions. Launch director Bob Seek seconds. Uh, making a last-minute check to see if everything was go to proceed. They Nine have started ten. the clock and Nine. they have now prepared to launch Discovery. Start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff of Discovery and the Ulysses spacecraft bound for the polar regions of the sun. Roll pump ignition. Roger roll, Discovery. This is Mission Control. Roll maneuver puts Discovery into the current launch plane. Officer confirms a good roll maneuver. Engines now throttling down uh, in preparation for Discovery's uh, passage through the air maximum uh, aerodynamic loads area. Auxiliary power units, all three looking good. Discovery's velocity now 2,300 feet per second.
Discovery, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The go at throttle up call means that everything is working well aboard Discovery. All engines now back at 104% performance. Velocity is now 3,300 feet per second. Discovery now uh, 14 nautical miles downrange from Kennedy at a velocity of 5,000 feet per second. And we have separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. As you can see, the solid rocket booster is falling away from Discovery. Discovery now on its way on a four-day mission to launch the Ulysses probe towards the sun. It is a four-day mission, but uh, in about six hours from now, the major milestone will have been accomplished when they deploy Ulysses out of the cargo bay of Discovery. And we, of course, uh, will bring that to you. We will not be able to bring it to you live because uh, the space shuttle can't transmit that picture. But uh, shortly after it is deployed on its way to the sun, they will bring down the tape, and we, of course, will bring it to you as soon as we get it. Again, Discovery, after uh, some last-minute nail-biting, after five months of frustrations, foul-ups, and leaks, they're back in the space business. NASA is with the successful liftoff this morning of Discovery on a four-day mission. CNN Sports Close-Up will be back in just a moment. I'm Tom Intier.